Hi everyone, welcome to Cairo South. Today we're going to be having a look around this Profile Design Aqua Rear Mount Bottle Cage. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we've got this Profile Design uh, Bottle Cage. To have a look around, I'm just going to cut it open gently. Uh, do I need to cut it open? Well, it's too late now because I've started. It's about the only time I'll ever be gentle opening something. Just in case when I eventually go to put it on, it doesn't fit. I have to send it back. At least I've got a bag with which I can put it in. So, um, the profile design rear mounting bottle cages. Now, although I'm pretty sure these are for triathlon. I'm not a triathlete, but I did get it because I, uh, when I go for my 100 kilometer rides, um, the bottles I've got at the moment are 500 mils each, uh, the aero bottles. Uh, so I don't tend to have enough water with me. And I thought to myself, what can I do? when I go on my 100k rides. Well, I can get some triathlon things. So I'm gonna stick these on my, out the back of my seat and um, see how they work. Let's just trim that out of the way, he says, not being able to do it. And let's just trim that out of the way. All right, that lifts that off there. Okay, so we've got a profile design back it's sort of like a thick cardboardy material. We've also got some instruction sheets on the back. That's kind of like a thick card. I didn't need to undo that because he says not being able to do it. Today's not going very well already. Uh, scan that for the instructions. It's made in Taiwan. If indecent is made in that part of the world. So here it is. Um, it looks like we've got some uh, rail attachments there. Cool. Um, it looks like we've got a band holding these together. We do. I'm not sure if that's supposed to stay there, but. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, around the other side, in here, we've got something banded around. I'm just going to cut that through. Chomp with my really blunt scissors. So we've got a basically one, two, three profile design, like Velcro uh, attachments. Let's pin them down. Lift up the old camera so they're reasonably large. I don't know exactly how large. Whoop. Get a view of my table. Nice. Um, so we get three of them. Obviously, I can put them through somewhere. It looks like there's a, a section here. Just get those out of the way. A section here to put stuff in. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but. Uh, And there's something written on the back. That must be the company, German company GMVH. Yeah. Um, it looks like here there's some holes where you can put another bottle uh, cage, maybe. And you can definitely alter these. See, there's a lot of different. Um, let me get my pointy stick or my scissors, as I would call them. Um, no, that won't work. There's. Um, Kind of an extra mounting you can put there so you can move the bottle cage angle um, top and bottom because there's one in the bottom as well there you can move so you can have it at the moment they are facing straight up but you can have them tilted back so you can have them uh, kind of like that 
on the on the mount there rather than a straight up at the moment they're in their straight up profile these have got two movable um, sections it looks like where you can move the angle of the rail holder little allen key um, one's there stop so the bottles don't come out yeah each side is banded I'm not sure if that's uh, supposed to be there or if it's just there for transport um, yeah so that's just a little look around there all allen key um, allen key fixings by the look of it Yeah, so when I go on my 100k rides, I should be using this on the behind the seat because then I can take more water. You know, I can have 750s uh, in the back. Um, depends, you know, I'm I'm using about a liter. I take a liter out at the moment on my 100k rides. It doesn't seem to be enough for me. So perhaps I should just drink more water to start with before I go, just like neck a litre or two. Um, that's one way of doing it, I suppose. But, but uh, yeah, I thought this would be a good addition to my water problem where I don't take enough. So, um, yeah, so I'll be fitting that and seeing what it looks like. It looks like a pretty good, uh, I mean, it's robust. I definitely won't be losing any bottles out of there. Um, the cages feel good, strong, even without the band on them, they're, they're uh, quite tight. Yeah, I don't think, um, I think this would be quite useful, to be fair. And with it being behind me, it's not going to create a problem. I just have to get used to reaching behind me to take the, uh, to take it out. So I'll just spin it round. I'm not sure what that bit is for. Perhaps it's just the, you know, it comes out a little bit. Yeah, as I said, you can put another bottle on there, another cage. You can have three. That'd be quite cool. Right, so let's get it weighed and uh, see how much it weighs then. Let's crack on. Okay, and we're back. Uh, just zero up that just while we're waiting for that to kick in I bought this from Wiggle not sponsored by Wiggle as normal that's just where I get my stuff from I just let you know it cost me £36.66 and um, they did have a load in stock and then all of a sudden I was looking and they were down to two so I thought well I better get this quick before all the other triathletes obviously getting ready for their season buy it so let's put it on the rack on the uh, scales there and we come up at 237 grams um yep 237 so that's about how much it weighs and I'll just clear that out of the way that's all for this uh, unboxing um can't wait to put that on obviously uh, it will be going Probably on my R6, but very probably on the R9 um, when that arrives eventually. Uh, but um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this wonderful little look around of the profile design. Rear aqua mount bottle cage. Uh, two of them. Cool. So. We'll see you on the next Kairos House. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. You guys are great. Um, well past 1,000 now. Keep it coming. Thanks very much. And we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care. Bye.